As an overseas chapter of Anak Bayan that is comprehensive of all youth, including immigrant youth and sons and daughters of immigrants, we condemn the increased militarization of the U.S. and the Philippines. It is the youth and students who suffer from the hundreds of billions of dollars spent on the military as continued budget cuts in education and health care and social services make it impossible to attend college, find decent paying jobs, and pay for everyday necessities. It is the youth and students who are recruited and targeted by the military. It is the youth and students who are sent to government by the government to over 130 countries where our taxpayer dollars are spent, used to fund U.S. imperialism. In the Philippines, this military presence not only enables the perpetuation of U.S. control over its economic, political, and social systems, but has also plagued the Filipino masses with increasing prostitution, rape and human rights violations, nuclear waste and environmental destruction, and a complete disrespect for Philippine laws and constitution. It is clear that the Philippine government under Pinoy continues to prize its role as a puppet to U.S. imperialism with complete disregard to national sovereignty and investing in the basic needs of the people. For 10 years now, even with constitutional ban against foreign military bases, 600 U.S. Special Operation Forces have been stationed in Mindanao. Reports have placed U.S. troops as participating directly and indirectly in different counterinsurgency operations. They have also been implicated in cases of human rights violations, the most controversial of which were the rape cases of Nicole and Vanessa and the murder inside a U.S. military facility in Mindanao of Filipino translator Gregan Cardenio. Anak Bayan calls on all youth to rise and demand a future that realizes the right to humane funding for basic social needs and to take action like those of us gathered today to towards systemic change. We must continue to educate ourselves and the community to further expose the war machinery of the U.S. that is illegally present and supported by the government of Pinoy and the government of the United States. An Akbayan stands with all organizations present today to advance the ongoing struggle for genuine national independence and democracy in the Philippines and for the expulsion of U.S. troops from the Philippines and the rest of the Asia-Pacific region. Imperialismo! Ibagsak! Feudalismo! Ibagsak! Burokrata Capitalismo! Ibagsak! Don't want to memorize a cover song or rehearse colonized blotted lines. All these governments call it uplifting the people of crime. Not doing anything is worse. Manifest destiny's course will be cut, reverse the resource curse. Awareness is growing like grass with a mass appeal. Look at the streets, it's the youth premiere. Gifted, unlimited, revolution universal. NDAA tries to implement fear while TPPA gives familiar foreign investors more clearance to take advantage of those trying to survive. Then the public is clouded with sensational news, it's definitely election year. America revolutionaries accelerated independence way back when, put history under a microscope lens, zoom into the rationale for invading peaceful lands, malevolent cultural conquest. The rumbling noise from the belly of the beast is reverberating overseas, lack of quality education to privatize schools and publicize training and exporting. It's a familiar story for the youth. Many got that in common, but why is fighting another man's war feeling like the only option? We're all affected and being set up to turn into menaces. Instead of developing leaders to rebuild our society, ages 5 to 17, public education is the inequality in this economic formula. Teens want to know because the teacher is ignoring ya. The libraries could close, but the liquor stores grow. Gotta fulfill our responsibility to teach each other. It's frustrating living in the heartbeat of other countries, disease and destruction. Reroute bloodlines to retaliate the past and solidify arteries through every individual, pumping the masses. We're so stuck in a world that we forget we're on a planet. Farmers and peasants embody gods and goddesses, transforming dirt into commodity. Then profits hijacked by the landlord and backed by the pig pen armory, holding the guns while swine master counts the funds. 
VFA, let's rape this go free and welcome back in the red, red, blue, bruised country. Singing songs about people power while the president's presence to the world is regifted to gab on the stage, holding the strings to the puppet regimes. Aquino doesn't dance while we hold up our hands to enforce a military invasion ban, cause those meant to protect the people won't, so we'll take control. Think we've hit the limit, but we're gonna persist. People are deconstructing castles, no need for excess. We're rebuilding with a purpose. Transcend to united consciousness and quit fighting against each other cause these civil wars fade the sacrifice of those departed from this place. Dying as a martyr is an honor, crossing arms of sons and daughters in hardened armor under thin garments, building more resistance when a tyrant hits. We putting up our own damn fists, raise them up like millions of gavels, slamming the three basic problems to cease and desist. Yeah! yeah. Just, 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 just